Hello guys, my name is McNair and today what I have for you is a guide on how to optimize Fallout 3 for your PC to have it running as smoothly as possible and a lot of you are thinking, oh the game came out in 2008, you know, I have a gaming PC that's a beast, you know, it's monstrous, so I can run any game, you know, all things. When, well yeah, you can do that with Fallout and stuff, but it's not going to run as smoothly as you want, you know, your PC could have 64 gigabytes of RAM and, and the best graphics card in the world, you know. And it ain't gonna run too smoothly, like it's gonna stutter, it's gonna freeze, sometimes even for like half a second, and you might not think that's a lot, but in game you notice that and it's horrible, you know. So today's guide is gonna be how to use more RAM and removing the stutters as, as, as much as possible. Okay, first of all, you're gonna wanna go to your files, then you're gonna wanna click documents, and then go to my games, Fallout 3, then off. Double click on uh, the Fallout preps, and once you have, press Control and F uh, for searching. Make sure it's searching down as well, and type in threads. And once you've done that, you will get this. I'm not sure what uh, your number will be. I think it starts off. I think it's usually one, but no. from one, change that to two, as I just did, and uh, save that. Like Control S or save. And uh, once you've done that, it's done. And what you have just done, if you do not know, is basically the game, when it was made, it was only made to run on single core or dual core processors. So it can only run on one core or more. And uh, basically, setting it to two, I think any, uh, any other processor, like if you have a quad core processor like I do, or even an eight core processor, like an Intel processor, it will only use one or two of those cores. But to make it straight and steady and use the maximum potential it can to get the overall best quality, uh, set it to 2, save it, and it will be done. Stuff's going to be in the, all this stuff here is going to be in the description for you to download. Uh, the first thing you're going to want is games for Windows Live Disabled, and what this does, because the game was made uh, in 2008, it was made for Windows Live, and anything above Windows 7 32-bit, uh, it is not going to work, like Windows 7 64-bit, or Windows 8, or 8.1 64-bit, it will not work, so this will disable Windows Live for you and allow you to play but in full screen as well because a lot of the time you get blue borders around your game and it's very, for me, very off-putting but uh, yeah, it removes it completely and allows you to play the game second of all, you're going to need Fallout Mod Manager if you don't have that, you must get this because this is what we're going to be installing the starter mod with uh, it's actually right here, Fallout Mod Manager and um, last, well, actually the third step in this is downloading the stutter remover itself which you just uh, come here, to press download manually. It, it will be it will be done within a second, if not less, you know. And lastly, you're going to need something called CFF Explorer. You're going to come to this website here, come all the way to the bottom, and you either click on this one or that one <laughs> to download. Honestly, they are 100% safe, uh, virus-free, all that, so you don't have to worry about that. And once all this is done, literally, uh, you go to your mod manager, uh, select Fallout 3. That this is the game you want to be playing. Go to Package Manager, uh, and this is going to be the stutter remover here. Uh, mine's installed, so I'm going to quickly show you. All right, you literally just double click, and boom, it's done. It's installed, or you can activate here and stuff like that, and and it's done. And my mod, my Fallout 3 is like no mods installed whatsoever, except uh, cut content and that stutter remover itself. So uh, yeah, once that's done, you are going to go to your um, hard drive where the game's installed. And you're going to have to get the game's executable file. Again, this is 100% safe. You don't have to worry. You can back that up if you like. Uh, so you just click on it, right click, open with CFF Explorer. You know, uh, then, literally, all this stuff, you, if, you might look at this and think, oh no, what is all this? But you don't have to. So, uh, literally, you just go down here to File Header. That's all. And once you've done that, you where it says click here, you, <laughs> self explanatory. Uh, it says here, app can handle more than 2 gig. This will not be ticked. This is what it will look like for you as soon as you open it up. Literally, you tick this, and now it can handle up to 4 gigabytes of RAM and graphics card RAM, which honestly is a massive improvement, especially if you're heavily modding your game. It will help you so much. If you just click that, OK, go to File, uh, click Save, Override Original File, yes. Again, guys, it's all save, so it's, what, it's OK. Uh, literally, then it's done. It is completely done. That's it. Your Fallout 3 is ready to be played as smoothly as possible and you will get the best playable experience ever. Anyway guys, this has been McNair. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash the like button. Goodbye.